Hello viewers, welcome back to Huel's Kitchen. On today's menu, we'll be doing fried green plantains with scrambled eggs and sausage. As you can see here, I'll be using two green plantains. First thing I'm gonna do to them is wash them. My preference. Um, just something I rather do. After you wash them, just shake them off really well. And then you're gonna dry your hands and you're gonna use a little bit of oil. Um, so when you start peeling them, they the gum doesn't stick on your hand. Just the fact. Get it real good. Oh. So you're gonna cut on both ends. Make sure that you find the sharp um, edge and you slice down in it. So that way it'll be easier to, for me it's easier to peel. So here, um, to successfully peel your plantains, take the tip of your knife to the raised edge of the plantain. Don't take it too deep, just right in there. Make sure you get it real good so that way the skin can come off easily. Just do it another time, here we go. Take the tip of your knife, raise the edge, to give you a start, there you go. Then you use your hand and just peel it right off. So, as you can see, there's a little piece that's left here. You just take your knife, cut it off, because you don't want that to be on there. So after you peel your plantain real nicely, just take the knife, tap it lightly on there in order to get the salt all up in the groove to give it a nice flavor. Now I'm going to get my salt and sprinkle it lightly. So as while you're sprinkling it, with the salt, turn it lightly so it coated the plantains completely. Try not to miss a spot, but don't oversalt it. Now we're gonna cut our plantains. Um, you can either cut it in half or cut it in three, but my choice is cutting it up a little bit smaller. Because to me, the smaller, the more pieces you get. Onions, we're gonna go ahead and peel it, get off the outer layer. I love onions in my scrambled eggs, makes a huge difference. You're gonna cut around because of the size, it depends on the size of or the amount of onions that you want to use. You just Put around it and then peel off that extra layer. I'm going to slice it up, put some slices in there. Um, you can go as deep as you want to with the knife. 
again like I said it all depends on the amount of onions because I'm only doing six eggs so just be mindful now I'm gonna cut it up After doing our um, prepping our onions, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our sausage. You can either cut it in circles or you can cut it down in half and do another cut to make it smaller if you don't have enough sausage. So now we're going to go ahead and prepare our eggs for or scramble eggs. Um, another good way of checking, making sure that your eggs are good prior to cooking it is crack it over a bowl instead of dropping it in your frying pan because you don't want to have any bad eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and season my eggs. I'm gonna add about two to three tablespoons of milk. Trust me, it makes a difference. Um, I'm gonna add some baking seasoning, not too much. A little bit of black pepper. Same thing, not too much. A little bit of Creole seasoning and some salt. Again, not too much. Now I'm going to start frying our plantains. So I went ahead and used um, about half inch of oil. Just remember, you can fry as much as you want to, but after you smash them, you can only put so much in there. So, what, are you, what you're going to do is let them fry. As soon as they start changing color, um, you're just going to take them out, you're going to press them, and put them back in here for a second fry. Notice this beautiful golden brown. After frying for three to four minutes, you're gonna take them out, press them, and put them back in and fry it. Now we're gonna take out and start smashing. See how beautiful that looks? Now you're gonna put it back in the fryer. Go. Pour, you're gonna put it back in the fryer for about a minute and you just proceed to do the rest. Just keep pressing them until they get to a size that you want. This is good. Put it right back in.
Make sure you use enough paper towel so that way it soaks up some of the oil and you don't get burned. As you can see, they are all pressed, frying now. Leave them in there for about a minute and a half. Remember that it's fried already, so you don't want to fry it too much. And after this, we're going to take it out. We're going to put it in a bowl, add a little bit more salt to give it that flavor. And it's ready to eat. So now it's time to take out. Just remember to shake off some of the oil. You don't want too much oil in them, on them. Now we're adding salt to our plantains. Remember, not too much because you put salt on there prior to. That should be enough. Remember to give it a good shake because you want all the plantains to coat the salt. That should be good enough. Here you go, guys. This is what it looks like. I went ahead and add a tablespoon of oil and a tablespoon of butter. Trust me guys, it's really good, the two combination. Um, I'm going to add my onion and my sausage first and saute them together. And then after that, I'm going to add my egg and we should be good. Now you want to go ahead and stir. You want to get everything, make sure everything gets coated and fried properly. Now after having our onions and sausage sauteed, we're going to add our eggs. Reason why I use the butter it's because it helps prevent the eggs from sticking too much. Look at that, guys. Now, what was crumble egg be without some cheese in there? Have some milk in there, some cheese. It's gonna be real good, guys, trust me. That should be enough. Now we're gonna stir. See that? Also, adding the butter to it makes it fluffy a little bit, so, because remember you have the milk in there, which helps do that, so, you give it that extra. Here's our finished product of the eggs. Smells 
so good. Look at that guy. Here's the finished product, guys, of the scrambled eggs with sausage and fried green plantains. Now let's give it a try. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.